Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of the tutorials on Linux tips, tricks and hacks. For this episode, I am going to show you how you can increase the text size on an Ubuntu terminal. So this is my terminal and I am using Ubuntu 20.04. Okay, but in principle, the procedure should work with other versions of Ubuntu. Now this is my terminal, notice how the text is being displayed. It's very, very small. Let me just type here for you to see. So there is echo hello world. So it's very, very small. Okay, so um, that's what we are going to do to change the size, increase it. So to modify the size, you come to follow my cursor, come to the right side, the top. Notice this button here with three horizontal bars. Okay, so that is what we are going to do. So click on it. And then a window will be shown here for you. Okay, so here we select preferences. So just scroll down, select preferences. And then this window will pop up. So uh, let me quickly explain the profiles here. This is one of the things we use. So profiles allow you to um, save your configurations or settings to um, different files so that you can switch between them anytime you want okay so that's how it is but by default ubuntu comes with just one profile and that is called unnamed and that is what has been activated okay so uh, we will modify the unnamed and we will also add some new profile so let's modify what is currently here that is the unnamed so click on it and then you have this appearing so to change the size, you will use this here, this button here, where you have the mono space regular and then 18. But it's also disabled. So we need to enable it. So we come to custom fonts here and then we check it. Okay, so once we check it, we can then change our text size and then even the font type. So click on it. Once you click on it, you can just check the font that you want but our focus today is on the size so we just come down here the button here and you see this number here so that's why we change it now in terms of changing you can use this sliding bar here or you can also use a plus or minus here you can also type in okay all of these things um, give you the same output for now let's just make it 30 let's say 30 let's just type uh, yeah 30 so once it's done you can just click on select here and then notice the size here has been changed let's close it so notice how the size is now okay so this is how we do the changes for the um, text size and then the font type as well so you customize it now let's go back just make it a bit smaller or named let's make it 25 that's 23 should be fine any value of your choice should be okay so now it's 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 now back okay so we've changed it now there are times where you may want to uh, make some customizations which uh, will be different from what is being displayed uh, for you by default so you want to have an additional configuration that you can always switch to or always reverse it to and the default one so this is where profiles come in so what we are going to do is to create a new configuration and then we just save it with a different name and then we can switch between them as we want. So come back to preferences here and then come to profiles here. Click on the plus and then add your profile. Let's say my profile. And then you go to create. So click on it and then you've created it. So here you can customize your fonts. Let's change it here. Yeah, let's make it 25. Okay. Now it's not only about the font size and the font type. You can also change the colors. So that's what I want to show you now. So on this same interface, this same window, come to colors, the tab here. And then you have this 
appearance. So here we can change the text and then the background colors. So let's just say we want to change. Okay, we want to add a new uh, background color. So just come here, use colors from system theme and then just uncheck it. So now you are free to change. So we have a default color here for text and then default for background. So let's just say you want to change the background. Click on it and then select the color of your choice. Let's use this. Yeah, let's come here a bit. And select any color should be fine. And then let's say the background text. Uh, let's just let's just make it um, green or something like that. Just black or anything. Yeah, black should be fine. And then just select it. So now we have it there. That's the default color. So when you come here, you set it as default. So click on it and set as default. So once you are done with this, when you open a new terminal, let's open a new terminal here, a new window. So notice how the color is now. Echo hello world. It's done. Okay. So that's how it is. There's something else I want to show you. So let's just see this. So you hear the sound, I believe. Sometimes you have this sound coming when you type in the terminal, if there is some um, error or something else. So you can also disable this sound, that we call the terminal bell from the terminal. And that is what we are going to do next. So just let's close this. Let's come back to our profile here, my profile here, and then come to text. So here you can just uncheck this terminal bell here. And then it's, I think it's still default. So now let's come back, open a new window, and then just type. I, I use the backspace. So just look at the backspace. Just type, hit the backspace, and you realize that there's no sound coming. Okay, so there's also another thing you can do if maybe the sound and you are not okay without sound. And so that's how it is with what's there. And terminal. So let's close it. Um, you can create more profiles or you can also delete. Okay, let's try to delete my profile, this one here. So when you click on this arrow, you see that the delete has been disabled. This is because it is now the default profile. So to delete it, we need to first come here and then make this one the default. So that's the unnamed. So click on it and then come to set as default. And then you can now come back here and then just click and then set this one. Uh, you delete it. So click on delete and then confirm. So now it's gone. Okay, so that's how it is. And you can close it. Okay, again, you can still come back and then just change the font size as we've done here. Unnamed, yeah, 23, that's fine. So we just leave it as it is. So I believe this has been helpful. And you can now use this to change your, your profiles on the Ubuntu terminal. So that'll be all for this tutorial. Let me also get your comments and let's get some discussions going. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next session. Goodbye.